This is Twit. F the FCC has approved uh, SpaceX's plan to launch 4,425 <laughs> satellites <laughs> for a broadband network that will blanket the Earth in radiation. Yeah, I was about to say, that sounded awesome before we did the last story. Now I'm not really so sure. <laughs> no, it's, a big it's way, phone in the way sky. up there. They're 100 well, think, miles okay, up well, there. Th think, think of it as like this This new network, is gonna, satellite network, is going to be like a Faraday cage that protects us from space radiation. <laughs> <laughs> Until the big solar flare comes and knocks out both it and us, and then kind of GG all around. So this is why I don't want Elon Musk to end up in a cardboard box with a tear-stained face. Saying bankrupt? Saying bankrupt because I want SpaceX uh, to do this. They'll have to start launching a lot of them if they're going to get 4,425 up. The, uh, the part of the agreement says that they will launch at least half of these satellites within six years. So the FCC says, yeah, but you got to get 2,200 of them up quick. Um, the Falcon launch, I didn't know this, carried two SpaceX test satellites for global broadband. This service is going to be called Starlink. That's awesome. I love that. <laughs> Starlink. And uh, they will be fairly high uh, altitude, 1,150 kilometers. That's high, right, John? That's not a... But you do that so you have a larger footprint. It's not low Earth orbit. No. It's kind of more of a standard orbit. Um, you also have to keep the satellite separated by 125 kilometers uh, of each other. Um there are those, including people with satellites already up there, who are a little concerned about <laughs> traffic uh, traffic jams in space. Yeah, more junk. But the 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 whole point of this is to essentially make sure that there is no corner of the of the planet that can't directly get internet. Uh, it's different. It differs from standard communication satellites because these are communications. Uh, the Old way is you got communication satellites that will then downlink to a station that then turns it into some sort of useful broadband for where you are. The idea is that your phone will, just like your phone could communicate with GPS satellites directly, will be able to communicate with this constellation directly. Which, if uh, Ashit Pai was is really, uh, really, uh, <laughs> he's he's making lots of happy noises about this, and when he makes happy noises, that could be a good news. That could be very bad news for consumers. Uh, but if if one of his if one of his mandates, uh, one of his uh, priorities, really is making sure that the entire country, every community, gets access to broadband, this is one way to solve that without having to run cable uh, and, and optical optical net, uh, optical wire everywhere in the every community where it doesn't make uh, financial sense. So. I yeah, but he'll so, be but so. Actually, this is low Earth orbit. A, uh, yeah. a geostationary orbit is typically twenty-two thousand miles up. So this is actually fairly low Earth orbit, eight hundred twenty-three miles. And then that, by the way, this is only the beginning. The total plan is for twelve thousand satellites, yeah. and many of them at six hundred eighty-four miles up. To well, put that, to put that in context, there are last night, I think there are only 1,500 satellites total in the air operational right now. <laughs> I saw this on Wally. Total for everything. Yeah. Oh, oh the, the, the animated movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. With the, all the space junk. But every time that he does a launch, in order to do the telemetry, he has to rent it um, from NASA to be able to track his satellites. Right. And I'm guessing with this constellation that he'll be able to do that himself. Um, especially with the accelerating of their launches. And then if you're talking about possibly uh, you know, with the the point-to-point -point Earth launching with Falcon Heavy, or not Falcon Heavy, but the BFR, uh, that they, they're going to need a continuous uh, communication channel when they launch from point-to-point, -point, if that is indeed in their future. So it's advantageous for them to be able to control all that. So this is as much for their communications as it is for internet. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I, you know, I mean, you can say this is for disadvantaged nations, but it's going to be equal across the face of the earth, I would guess. So we're in terms of all, potential access, we'll all yeah. benefit, right? Well, there's problems with places like China and uh, <laughs> places yeah. like Russia where you can't just give them internet. Um, Why not? They, what, they don't like it. that. They don't like their people well, the to have free access. To the, the government, government doesn't wouldn't. like it, but uh, I might put a dish in my backyard in Turkestan. Yeah. Yeah, but then you couldn't sell Teslas in uh, Turkestan because I'm sure the government would be like, well, Elon, one man, two companies. He breaks our laws with one. We won't let him import the other, right? Oh. But I, I don't see them just saying when it's over China, the rules are different. You can't put up the you know the Great Chinese Firewall in the sky. I don't know. I hope can you can't. You? 
It's a Pink Floyd. So what are they going to do? Band. Shoot them down? No, Which, no, no. Just just ban access to them, right? Well, to yeah, the receivers. Make, to the receivers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's fine. Then we'll 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 just we'll use like, it here, and we'll we'll beat them in the uh, in the race to better great VR. space race. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>